um, in uh, the 90s here in Portland. I'm from Portland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in the 90s here, there was this amazing music scene. Um, there was, there were just, every single person was in a band, and, um, but they were good bands. Um, there was just a lot of, like, indie pop and, and reggae and punk rock and all kinds of stuff, and, um, and Riot Girl. That's right. Um, and um, the cool thing about Riot Girl was it was just, like, boys in the back, girls in the front, like, women empowerment, it just is a beautiful, it's still beautiful music, and um, it was a beautiful movement, and, uh, and I got to be a part of that, um, because I could play the drums, <laughs> and um, so I was in a band, and um, thank you, uh, <laughs> and all of my friends were in bands, and some of my friends were in really cool bands, and um, this one night, uh, in the 90s, like, I already established that, but I think it was the mid-90s. There was this show. There used to be this place called La Luna. Heard of it? <laughs> Local. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and it was this great um, venue where just, uh, like, literally every band there was like, yes. Um, but there was this big event one night, and Modest Mouse was playing, and uh, Team Dresh, and The Need, and The Need, and... Um, and Lois, who um, was like a folk singer um, from New York, I think. Any hoots. Um, my friends were in the need, uh, and thank you. Um, and <laughs> but that's who I came to see. And um, I had gotten off work at, I'm just gonna keep throwing 90s at you. I'd gotten off work at the Montage, uh, <laughs> and had drank a ton of beer, and then went to go see my friends. And, um, and I was drunk, and um, and it was like all a buzz, all these cool bands, and I was like, my friends are backstage. Uh, so I, I went back to see them, and it was cool back there, like just like people like going back and forth. It was very busy, and um, I was like, oh hey, and um, I saw my friend Rachel, and she was like, oh hey, we gotta, we're gonna go do an interview. We'll be right back. Just wait right here. And I was like, okay, drink, 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 drink. Um, and then they came out of that room and walked really fast. My friend Radio was like, hang, hang on, we'll be right back. Um, we're just gonna go, I don't know what, just lots of that. Just, okay, just wait, just wait right here, Coop. Um, and um, they didn't come back after a while. Like, they kept, like, being like, just don't leave. But um, I, meanwhile, I was just drinking a lot and thinking about how cool it would be if, like, I was in a band where they interviewed me nonstop. Um, I don't know if they were being interviewed the whole time, if we're honest. But... <laughs> Just kept going into rooms uh, with people. At any rate, I had waited for a long time, and I was so drunk. I um, so I just I wrote a little note to my friend Radio, and we've known each other since we were like teenagers. Um, and it just said, "My name is Kirsten, and I think you suck," <laughs> <laughs> which was my way of being like, "See you later, dude." Um, you know, like it was you know no big deal. I folded it up and I put it in her guitar case so that when she got her guitar, she'd be like, oh, Coop must have left. Um, Coop is my nickname, just you know. Um, so that was it, right? That was this cool big night. I went out and watched the bands. It was, everybody was great. And I went on with my life. And then a year later, um, I was on a date. It was a first date with somebody else who's also in the, in the community. She was one of the lookers. That's a band. Anyway, I'm just dropping names. Okay. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm on a date with this lady, and, um, and she's saying all this sexy stuff, and it's great. And then, <laughs> you know, and then we're kind of like, it looks like we're about to leave, and she's like, I got to ask you something. And I was like, what? She was like, what's the deal with Lois? And I was like, the lady with the beret? <laughs> uh, and she was like, Lois, you know, like, what's your deal with Lois? And I was like, I don't, I don't know Lois. And she was like, um, my name is Kirsten, and I think you suck. Uh, and I was just like, wait, what? And she was like, you put a note in her guitar case at that Modest Mouse show right before she went on stage. <laughs> like, that was so fucked up. And I was like, oh, you know, okay. It was like Three's Company. I was like, oh, I'm I, <laughs> no. Um, and I was like, honestly, that was for radio because that's 
I was just saying goodbye. I was not, and she was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm serious. And she was like, well, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I was like, why? What? Are we not going to go home? And she was like, no, I just, we've all been talking about this for like a year. <laughs> and I was like, everyone? And she's like, everyone. Like, when you've had shows with us, everyone's like, hide your guitar case, here comes Kirst. <laughs> you know, like... And I was like, what? You know, like, this is, this is a scene where we're all, like, supporting each other and, like, empowered and, like, like none of you bitches could have been like, well, fuck with that. <laughs> like, no one took a second to, like, okay, all right, that's fine. You still want to go home together? She's like, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so, uh, so then we dated for, like, a month or something, and, um, and I went to her shows, and one night I was, like, helping carry all the equipment out, and, um, <laughs> and I, like, went to get the guitar, <laughs> and her drummer was like, no, I got that coupe. <laughs> and she was like, oh, uh, no, it's cool, I'm sorry. And then, like, I was, like, helping carry an amp out, and she was like, hey, listen, we all heard about, you know, Lois and everything. Uh, Sorry. I was like, rock on. Thank you very much.